This is not what you want to have happen to your big excavator, but I'll show you how to fix it. Hey folks, welcome back. This is my John Deere excavator. This is a model 690A. It dates back to about 1970, 71. I haven't traced the serial number, but it's about a 50 year old machine. Purrs like a kitten. I think it's rated at maybe 120 horsepower. It's a 42,000 pound machine with that bucket on it. That's not counting the thumb. This one has a stiff thumb. I would love to add uh, hydraulics to it someday. I do have the block from another 690, the valve block. So I might just have to do that for this next tree clearing project. Uh, hydraulic thumb is a must. It really is a game changer. I've done a lot of work with this machine, pulled a lot of stumps, uh, cleared and made a road, done all sorts of uh, sculpting and different things with it. She's been a good machine to me. I do like the old iron. They're really simple, easy to work on, no computers, no bullshit. They just work. Uh, I do enjoy that. I have neglected tightening the tracks. This machine has the older crane style undercarriage and so the tracks are not tensioned by grease. They're tensioned by big nuts and the nuts are seized on this. So in this video, I'll show what happens when you don't tighten the tracks enough and you throw a track. And on this machine, the track weighs, I don't know, 2000 pounds or something. This past fall, it was a rainy muddy day and we were doing some tree clearing up here and I threw a track. I had somebody here felling trees and I needed the machine to clear the driveway. So in this video, I'll show how I put the track back on. I didn't get all of it on video cause it was pouring rain at parts and I was kneeling in the mud. So I didn't do the best job getting all the footage but you'll get the gist of it. Step one, we gotta take the pin, a pin out and the pins are retained by a bolt and the head of most of the bolts has been worn by the pins but the nut is not so i found one here that i could take out right here and i took that out we have that out step two is drive the pins out so the pins are in here like that and like that and i chose the one that i could get the bolt off of, so I drove these two pins out and to get them lined up and to do this in all the rain and the mud uh, takes a little bit of pry bars and different stuff and, let, and now I will split the track and attach it let it flop down straighten it out and uh, attack it with uh, binder straps to try to get it straight again all right, so now the track is split and I will lift the machine up using its own arm and try to move the, the carriage over the track, pry bar the track underneath there, and then pick up on the upper track, move it into place, and then I'll use binder straps to hold it together. All right, I have the machine started. I lifted it up so that the rollers are clear of the little backbones on the track. I've got a hook in it here and a strap across to the track that's still connected. And I'm just gonna winch it over with the binder strap a little at a time. I would use a come along, but I don't have one here. So, uh, in my truck. And my truck is down the driveway on the other side of all these down trees. All right, track sort of straightened out. Binder straps on and starting to lift it to uh, eventually get this up to there and then put the pins back in. All right, track almost back together. We've got one of the pins started. Going back in right here, got the other pin sitting right there. Got it lined up using the machine. You can see the track is sloppy there. I'm using the machine pushing down with the arm here to jack up, jack up the machine on the side. And uh, we just got to line the pin holes up on that one and drive the pins back in and then bolt it again. So, this is the bolt that keeps the pin, and you can see. It's been worn away. This is, this is likely a 50-year-old bolt. That's a 
70 or 71 John Deere over there. So it's good steel, but um, since it's damaged and a little bit rounded off, I'm going to try to find another one in my bolt bin here. Well, not the best quality bolt, but we'll use it for now, and I'll reuse the washers. All right, we'll go try it out. It's always fun with one hand. So, in this case, the nut always goes away from the from the pin. The pin's here and bears on the head of the bolt. The nut and the excess. You'll see all the other ones faces the other way. All right, tighten that up. All right, you can see the silver bolt down there. And here it is back together. I really do need to tighten these tracks. So I've been squirting these adjusters with a mixture of ATF, automatic transmission fluid, and acetone. And maybe this weekend we'll see if they'll loosen up enough. We might have to put a little heat to them, but we'll see if they're loose enough that uh, I can get these tracks tensioned correctly. And then I won't have to put the track back on again, split the track and all that. Hope you like the video. If you do, please like, subscribe, and as usual, comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.